What's going on everyone and welcome back to My Shitty Kitchen. Today we're making donut bread pudding with whiskey peanut butter sauce. Now, for the record, I hate making desserts. I'm a savory cook through and through. In culinary school, patissier class was the only thing I didn't get an A in. Regardless of that though, sometimes you're in a situation where you have to throw a dessert together and it's important to have a few simple dishes in your repertoire. This is one of them. Bread pudding is amazing because it's extremely simple to make, you can use just about any bread products you have lying around to create it, and most importantly, it's delicious. Also, chefs and cooks love dishes where you can repurpose otherwise unusable ingredients, like in this case, stale donuts. In other words, dishes like this are a culinarian's wet dream. To start, you'll need two cups of heavy whipping cream, three whole eggs, a tablespoon or two of cinnamon. You can use the pre-ground kind, or if you're a masochistic hipster like me, you can grind your own. You'll also need some kind of additive that can be anything you want. I'm using some sea salt and caramel chips. This is totally optional, but if you've come this far, you might as well go all the way. Lastly, you'll need a bread product. I'm using donuts, but you can use old sandwich bread, stale cinnamon rolls, muffins, dinner rolls, or really anything you want. Now that you've assembled your stuff, preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and break your eggs into a mixing bowl. Whisk them together until they're frothy and you've got a smooth yellow mixture. Now you can pour in your cream and whisk everything together. What we're doing here is making a simple custard. You can take just this mixture and turn it into a bunch of different things like creme anglaise, which is a simple dessert sauce, or even a quiche. Next, you can add in your cinnamon and your other additive ingredients like your chocolate chips. If you're grinding your own cinnamon like I'm doing in this footage, a tool called a microplane is extremely useful for this. Also, congratulations, your house should now smell like fresh cinnamon. Before we move on, something that I forgot to do that isn't a huge deal is to mention that you can add in a couple drops of vanilla extract. Once you've done that, whisk everything together. Now it's time to get messy. Tear up your donuts, bread products, or whatever you're using and knead them into the custard mixture. You want the finished product to be more of a paste than a liquid. If you find yourself with a little more liquid than solid, just add more bread, or in this case, donuts, until you get the desired texture. It should look a little like this. The next thing you want to do is generously butter that deep baking dish you've had lying around for a decade that you probably inherited from your grandma. Pour your vomit mixture into it, and then chuck the whole thing in the oven for about 45 minutes. When it's done, the custard around the edges will be set, and it might be a little jiggly in the middle. Pull it out and set it aside to cool and set up a bit, and that's it. You're done. Or are you? If you want to go the extra mile, you can make a sauce for your bread pudding. The one I'm making comes from Chef Kevin Gillespie's book, Fire in My Belly. It's a peanut butter whiskey sauce, and it only takes about a minute to make. You'll need a half cup of heavy cream, about a third a cup of creamy peanut butter, and about a tablespoon or so of whiskey. Heat your cream over medium-high heat until it simmers, then whisk in your peanut butter. Once everything is homogenized, slowly whisk in your whiskey, and you're good to go. Pretty simple stuff. To finish the dish, I plated it in two ways. The first one was kind of home style-esque, and I wasn't really sure I liked it, so I tried doing it like I would if I was working in a higher-end restaurant, and I was a little happier with that. Lastly, I went ahead and topped the whole thing with some ice cream, because why not? Overall, I was pretty satisfied with how the whole thing turned out. It was super rich and over the top, so if you're on a diet, I'd maybe skip this one. But if your boyfriend just broke up with you or your girlfriend is mad at you, I'm pretty sure if you make this bread pudding, it'll solve at least one of those problems. But that's gonna do it for today though, guys. Hopefully you learned something new today, and if you did, or you just enjoyed the video, consider liking it by hitting that thumbs up button down below. If you're new here, consider clicking the logo on the screen or the red subscribe button so that you never miss a new video. Lastly, if you make this dish or any of the others you see on this channel, tweet me pictures at my shitty kitchen on Twitter. Until next time though, I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.